Raccoon. The raccoon, Procyon lota, sometimes called the common raccoon to distinguish it from other species, is a medium-sized mammal native to North America. It is the largest of the Procyonid family, having a body length of 40 to 70 centimeters, and a body weight of 5 to 26 kg. Its grayish coat mostly consists of dense underfur, which insulates it against cold weather. Three of the raccoon's most distinctive features are its extremely dexterous front paws, its facial mask, and its ring tail, which are themes in the mythologies of the indigenous peoples of the Americas relating to the animal. The raccoon is noted for its intelligence, as studies show that it is able to remember the solution to tasks for at least three years. It is usually nocturnal and omnivorous, eating about 40% invertebrates, 33% plants, and 27% vertebrates. The original habitats of the raccoon are deciduous and mixed forests, but due to their adaptability, they have extended their range to mountainous areas, coastal marshes, and urban areas, where some homeowners consider them to be pests. As a result of escapes and deliberate introductions in the mid-20th century, raccoons are now also distributed across much of mainland Europe, the Caucasus, and Japan. Though previously thought to be generally solitary, there is now evidence that raccoons engage in sex-specific social behavior. Related females often share a common area, while unrelated males live together in groups of up to four raccoons, in order to maintain their positions against foreign males during the mating season, and other potential invaders. Home range sizes vary anywhere from 3 hectares for females in cities, to 5,000 hectares for males in prairies. After a gestation period of about 65 days, two to five young, known as kits, are born in spring. The kits are subsequently raised by their mother until dispersal in late fall. Although captive raccoons have been known to live over 20 years, their life expectancy in the wild is only 1.8 to 3.1 years. In many areas, hunting and vehicular injury are the two most common causes of death. Description. Head to hindquarters, raccoons measure between 40 and 70 centimeters, not including the bushy tail which can measure between 20 and 40 centimeters, but is usually not much longer than 25 centimeters. The shoulder height is between 23 and 30 centimeters. The body weight of an adult raccoon varies considerably with habitat, making the raccoon one of the most variably sized mammals. It can range from 5 to 26 kilograms, but is usually between 5 and 12 kilograms. The smallest specimens live in southern Florida, while those near the northern limits of the raccoon's range tend to be the largest. Males are usually 15 to 20 percent heavier than females. At the beginning of winter, a raccoon can weigh twice as much as in spring because of fat storage. The largest recorded wild raccoon weighed 28.4 kilograms and measured 140 centimeters in total length, by far the largest size recorded for a procyonid. The most characteristic physical feature of the raccoon is the area of black fur around the eyes, which contrasts sharply with the surrounding white face coloring. This is reminiscent of a bandit's mask and has thus enhanced the animal's reputation for mischief. The slightly rounded ears are also bordered by white fur. Raccoons are assumed to recognize the facial expression and posture of other members of their species more quickly because of the conspicuous facial coloration and the alternating light and dark rings on the tail. The dark mask may also reduce glare and thus enhance night vision. On other parts of the body, the long and stiff guard hairs, which shed moisture, are usually colored in shades of gray and, to a lesser extent, brown. Raccoons with a very dark coat are more common in the German population because individuals with such coloring were among those initially released to the wild. The dense underfur, which accounts for almost 90% of the coat, insulates against cold weather and is composed of 2 to 3 centimeters long hairs. The raccoon, whose method of locomotion is usually considered to be plantigrade, can stand on its hind legs to examine objects with its front paws. As raccoons have short legs compared to their compact torso, they are usually not able either to run quickly or jump great distances. Their top speed over short distances is 16 to 24 km per hour. Raccoons can swim with an average speed of about 5 km per hour and can stay in the water for several hours. For climbing down a tree headfirst, an unusual ability for a mammal of its size, a raccoon rotates its hind feet so they are pointing backwards. Raccoons have a dual cooling system to regulate their temperature, that is, they are able to both sweat and pant for heat dissipation. Raccoon skulls have a short and wide facial region and a voluminous brain case. The facial length of the skull is less than the cranial, and their nasal bones are short and quite broad. 
Seven of the 13 identified vocal calls are used in communication between the mother and her kits, one of these being the bird-like twittering of newborns. Senses. The most important sense for the raccoon is its sense of touch. The hypersensitive front paws are protected by a thin horny layer that becomes pliable when wet. The five digits of the paws have no webbing between them, which is unusual for a carnivoran. Almost two-thirds of the area responsible for sensory perception in the raccoon's cerebral cortex is specialized for the interpretation of tactile impulses, more than in any other studied animal. They are able to identify objects before touching them with vibrissae located above their sharp, non-retractable claws. The raccoon's paws lack an opposable thumb, thus, it does not have the agility of the hands of primates. There is no observed negative effect on tactile perception when a raccoon stands in water below 10 degrees Celsius for hours. Raccoons are thought to be color blind or at least poorly able to distinguish color, though their eyes are well adapted for sensing green light. Although their accommodation of 11 dioptra is comparable to that of humans and they see well in twilight because of the tapetum lucidum behind the retina, visual perception is of subordinate importance to raccoons because of their poor long distance vision. In addition to being useful for orientation in the dark, their sense of smell is important for intraspecific communication. Glandular secretions, urine and feces are used for marking. With their broad auditory range, they can perceive tones up to 50 to 85 kHz as well as quiet noises, like those produced by earthworms underground. Intelligence. Zoologist Clinton Hart Merriam described raccoons as clever beasts, and that, in certain directions their cunning surpasses that of the fox. The animal's intelligence gave rise to the epithet, Sly Coon. Only a few studies have been undertaken to determine the mental abilities of raccoons, most of them based on the animal's sense of touch. In a study by the ethologist H.B. Davis in 1908, raccoons were able to open 11 of 13 complex locks in fewer than 10 tries and had no problems repeating the action when the locks were rearranged or turned upside down. Davis concluded that they understood the abstract principles of the locking mechanisms and their learning speed was equivalent to that of rhesus macaques. Studies in 1963, 1973, 1975 and 1992 concentrated on raccoon memory showed that they can remember the solutions to tasks for at least three years. In a study by B. Pohl in 1992, raccoons were able to instantly differentiate between identical and different symbols three years after the short initial learning phase. Stanilas D. Heine reports in his book The Number Sense that raccoons can distinguish boxes containing two or four grapes from those containing three. In research by Susanna Herculano Husel and other neuroscientists, raccoons have been found to be comparable to primates in density of neurons in the cerebral cortex, which they have proposed to be a neuroanatomical indicator of intelligence. Thanks for watching.